am Lacey Denise Peterson and my story is a tragic and widely publicized case of I went missing when I was pregnant in Modesto, California. My case garnered intense media attention and became a nationwide sensation in the early 2000s. I was a 27-year-old woman who was eight months pregnant with our first child when I disappeared on December 24, 2002. My husband, Scott Peterson, reported me missing later that day stating that she went out to walk their dog and never returned. My family and friends immediately became concerned, and a massive search operation was launched to find me. The media coverage of the case quickly intensified, drawing significant public interest. My family conducted interviews, held press conferences, and asked for help from the public to find their missing daughter and my unborn child. As the investigation unfolded, suspicion began to fall on my husband Scott Peterson. It was revealed that Scott was having an extramarital affair with a woman named Amber Fry, who came forward and cooperated with the police. This further fueled the media frenzy surrounding the case and raised questions about Scott's involvement. On April 13, 2003, the remains of a late-term fetus, believed to be our unborn child, washed ashore near where Scott Peterson claimed to have been fishing on the day of Lacey's disappearance. The following day, the badly decomposed body of a woman was also found in the same area. These discoveries led to Scott Peterson's arrest on April 18, 2003, and he was charged with the murders my murder and our unborn son. During the highly publicized trial, the prosecution presented evidence that Scott Peterson had murdered me his wife and unborn child and then disposed of our bodies in the San Francisco Bay. The motive was believed to be his extramarital affair and his desire to lead a different life without the responsibilities of marriage and impending fatherhood. On November 12, 2004, the jury found Scott Peterson guilty of two counts of murder, one for me and one for our unborn child. He was subsequently sentenced to death. The case remained a matter of public interest and sparked discussions about the death penalty, media coverage of criminal trials, and the impact of social media on high-profile cases. Despite the conviction, the case continues to be a subject of interest, and it remains one of the most notable and tragic criminal cases in recent American history.